Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. My name's Neil. Hope you guys are having a great day opening up presents. What's that? It's not Christmas? No, it's not, but this is NLC Live, and every day of NLC Live is like Christmas. <laughs> Psalm 119, verse 68. This is a very, very, very long chapter. This ch uh, chapter 119 is like, is Matt, how many, how, let me see how many are in here. I haven't even checked. Let's see. What do we got here? Whoa, there are 176 verses in here. That is a lot. If you're keeping track at home, that is a lot. So, give you a little bit of backstory on this book of the Bible. There's a lot of debate on who wrote this this uh, that not the book, but this chapter. Some older commentaries and Bible scholars say it was David. Other people go way different, and they say it's either Ezra or Nehemiah or whatever. There's a lot of different, but and and I genuinely think this is David. But what we do know is that this was not this is not written at one time period. This is written over a long length of time, and I'm going to read the scripture to you and give you a little bit of of context for what's going on here. So verse 68 says. You are good, and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Now, this is talking about who God is and what God does. Now, the way that this chapter is written out is it's an acrostic. Uh, this entire chapter is a giant acrostic. And here's, here's uh, I'll, I'll just say this. So there are 22 letters in the Hebrew language. And this entire chapter is broken down into 22 different sections of eight scriptures each. One for every letter of the Hebrew alphabet. You got that? It's literally an acrostic. Like an acrostic would be, if you ever hear somebody old school like, man, you're a mog, that's man of God. Or while wow, you're uh, living in the, the fog, that's a favor of God. Ridiculous, I know, but that's you get the point. An acrostic, literally every one of these sections of eight scriptures, it stands for something. It, it is a letter in the Hebrew language, and it stands for something. This section is considered to be the teth. Now, that it's a stanza, and the teth stanza is literally the first letter in the Hebrew word good. And so is it any wonder that this, talking about the goodness of God and that what he does is good, is it's not an accident. This is incredible. Now, I don't want to just read verse 68. I want to read verse 67. So bonus round here. 67 says, before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. And then it goes on and says, you're good. And what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. This is genuine. So even though he was afflicted and went astray, it's basically saying that whoever wrote this made mistakes and he went off by his own, but now God, I obey your word. You are good and what you do is good. So recognizing that even after you've made a mistake, that's the, that's the promise. Is there a promise in the scripture? Yes, that God is good and what he does is good. And this is the, the bonus part of that. He even goes on, he says, teach me your decrees. I, not only do I want your correction, but God, your goodness is there and I want more of it. That's a great way to approach God. Lord, your correction is incredibly strong. Um, I know I went off and did my own thing, but I want more of you. That is incredible. So this is, in the most basic sense, this is praise for who God is, you're good, and praise for what God does, and you do good. Both are good reasons to praise God. So what is a practical thing that you can do? What is something that you can apply right now? Stop whatever you're doing. Take just one minute and thank God for what he's done in your life, for the goodness of God, what he's done and who he is. A lot of times I spend time thinking about just what God did for me, and I thank him for that. But there are times I need to remember that I need to thank God just for who he is. I'm going to pray. God, we thank you for your scripture. We thank you for how detailed it is, how detailed you are in the way that you love us. And God, your word never changes. You always have been good. You always will be good. We're thankful for the good things that you've done in our life. 
but we're also thankful for how good you are. God, give us more. We want more of your help. We want more of your correction in our life so you can sharpen us. We just want more of your goodness. We want you to be close. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.